Hey, hey, what's going on guys? CH from Village Park Sorcerer. Just proud to welcome you to your 60th video. Congratulations to those who've made it this far. If you guys have any questions or comments of anything I've missed so far, just go ahead and post those in the comment section below. I'll get back to you, I'll make a video about it, and we'll go from there. Congratulations, great job so far, and I'll see you guys at the end. Thanks again for watching. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome to your 60th video. Congratulations to those who made it this far. All right, so we're going to talk about markers really fast. Now, these are great in Final Cut Pro for referencing a certain shot or even a single frame, making it very easy to come back to. Uh, you might have to pass a project on to a boss, uh, maybe a coworker, and these are kind of like post-it notes. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna go to any single frame. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit keyboard shortcut M, just like that. Now the marker shows up just like that. If you double click on it, or if you hit M again, I believe, yeah, we've got a little place here where we can leave actually description. So we could say like, um, I don't know, redo, add more angles. How about that? Add more angles. Um, done. And maybe this frame will go to this other shot. Look at my face. Looks like I got stung by a bumblebee. We'll hit M again and we'll say, get rid of filter. Yada, yada, yada. Get rid of filter. Just like that. And that's kind of the gist of it. Now, if you see right here, there's also a couple other options right here. Um, this is actually like a to do checklist type thing. So, once you come back to it, or maybe your coworker or boss signs off on it, and they let you know all systems are good, you can click complete, and it's gonna change to green, just like that. And to get rid of it, you can either double click on it, and then click delete right there. You can right click as well, just like that. And that's kind of the gist. So play around with this. Markers, they're great um, for adding anything, but primarily audio. And we'll go ahead and add a couple more. Get the playout over here. Uh, there's a sh keyboard shortcut to go back and forth with them. It is control semicolon and control um, what's to the right of the semicolon indent indentation apostrophe <laughs> control. So you can go left and right, back and forward, just like that. Um, that's kind of the gist of it. And it does show up in your timeline index as well. So you can see over here, make sure you're clicked on tags up here instead of clips. And you can kind of see what the breakdown of all these are. We didn't really add, we just kind of left them hanging, but we can go ahead and add, we'll say change audio, yada, 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 done. Let's go ahead and to this clip we will do use shotgun mic not lav mic anything of the sort and that's kind of the gist so it's really just a point of reference uh really helps you with certain images certain frames on what to come back to and it's great if you have somebody that's editing you letting you know where you kind of maybe screwed up or where a certain project could be better at. And that's kind of the gist. So it's really just point of reference to make your jobs easier. Hopefully this made sense. Play around with it. We've got them showing up here in our timeline index. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about snapping. All right, guys, good luck. Great job. And I'll see you over there.